is whey protein better is whey protein isolate better or is plant protein better you will answer this at the end of this video in the comment section below i will just justify so that i'm giving you a hint very often i come across this argument that animal protein is better because it is closest to our protein or to the human muscle or to the human cells well and and also that uh, one should consume isolates because isolates are better absorbed what i believe is nothing in nature is in the isolated form everything that you are eating is in the bound form i don't think our body would accept something that is in its isolate and that is immediately absorbed into your system when you are consuming something from the animal source or something that is an isolate which is immediately absorbed in your body you are up regulating something called as igf that is insulin like growth factor and igf promotes mtor that is mammalian tar target of rapamycin tor genes function as master regulatory genes which promote cell proliferation and growth this is why consuming something like this can bulk you up and can make the big guys look even bigger now supposedly tor genes need to be active when you are a baby or an infant because at that phase you need to grow and as you grow the tor genes become inactive now when you break food in subsets of carbohydrates proteins and fats and you calculate you will always feel that the protein requirement is low and when your protein requirement is low you will be pushed on with a product that supplements your protein requirement animal protein sources including whey isolates or whey supplements increase the amino acid leucine this is an essential amino acid and this up regulates tor activity these proteins it up regulates igf1 that is insulin like growth factor 1 and even mtor when you aren't consuming these sort of proteins it down regulates stored activity now igf levels are low in plant based diets and they are high in animal based diets please google this this is not something that i'm saying by myself proteins from an animal source irrespective of whether it is milk dairy fish or eggs will up regulate tor activity and this is known to cause cancers now the plant proteins are generally having even fiber in them they are in bound form they are not in isolated forms and these do not up regulate igf1 and mtor and they are not as much as to ca cause cancers i have gone through a lot of researches before even i made this statement and i am here just to help you out and not to push your product when you are consuming protein more than what actually your body requires you end up growing things that you actually don't want to grow and those are cancers polyps skin tags cysts fibroids tumors very clearly i would also like to tell you that there is no disease that is genetic there can be certain factors that influence the genes and that can cause certain diseases animal proteins are high in methionine which is an amino acid that increases cancer genes or growth these proteins can also make you age faster because you are as old as your mitochondria based on the type of food you are eating based on the type of lifestyle you are living based on the type of thoughts that you are thinking you can either turn on or off the expression of certain genes and it is completely in your hand and not in your genetics i don't know if i am going to get sufficient backlash from the ones who are protein lovers but facts are facts and it's my duty to put them in front of you if you found this useful share it with somebody who needs to hear it and now let me know in the comment section which protein is the best for you